Happy Tuesday, friends. I hope you're having a great day. Today's tip is coming from my grandmother. Now, this is not, per se, the best way to make coffee. Um, and, you know, a lot of you coffee lovers are going to blow me up and tell me this is wrong. And I understand that. But um, this is a way you can save on coffee. Now, with this coffee pot, there's two ways. And we have lots of coffee pots. Right now, this is the one we're using. It is just a Mr. Coffee thermos cup. It's eight cups. And I do like it a lot because it's thermos and um, it keeps the coffee long a real really long time so one of the tips that I'm going to show you is the one that my grandma taught me I was just in my early 20s coming out of college and buying coffee for the first time and coffee was super expensive on a college budget and my grandmother gave me one of the best tips ever so you know you have your coffee grounds from um, the night before and they're wet see them in there it's in the basket And what the tip is, is the next day, you can only, this is like a two-day deal. So the first day, you make your coffee as you, reg as you would regularly. And then the second day, you leave the wet grounds in. And then add half um, of what you normally would add of your coffee grounds right into the same basket with the wet ones. And you're good to go. So you won't have to add as much coffee for day two because you still already have those grounds in the coffee pot from day one. Now, after day two, I dump it and start over. Another thing you, I could do and do do sometimes is use even less coffee on day one and just hit strong. And it doesn't turn out as strong because you're using less coffee, but it does like really... Um, let it steep for a while. It lets it steep for a long while and makes it strong, but if you have less coffee, it's just going to be regular, um, you know, flavor. So, those are my two tips. And, you know, I do use a French press a lot, and I use my espresso machine and my cappuccino machine a lot. I use a lot of different coffee um, pots, actually. But, um, I think this is a great tip because right now the coffee I get is anywhere from nine to twelve dollars and sometimes I even get you know Hawaiian coffee which is a little more and it's hard because I you know it's expensive and um, I like to save on it every which way I can and for my morning coffee I'm not so picky that you know using the day-old um, coffee grounds with just a little bit of fresh coffee grounds um it doesn't bother me a bit because the coffee still tastes really good and then sometimes i go with just less and hit strong so maybe a coffee pot with a um strong um option it would be um you know something to look for if you're wanting also to save you know a little extra money on your coffee so I hope this tip helps some of you guys, and let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment below. Check out my blog at kjaggers.com for more details. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.